<laughs> well, hello, hello, my people. How is everybody doing? Josh Greeson coming to you live from Forex Bootcamp this Friday afternoon. And I hope you've had an amazing week. I hope you have some fun stuff planned for the weekend. Um, that's all assuming you have a normal, everyday, you know, Monday through Friday kind of work schedule. But whatever your case may be, I hope you're having a good week. Um, so what are we doing while everyone's having a chance to tune in? If you're alive and awake and on Facebook on Fridays, it doesn't seem like many people are here on Fridays. But what we're doing today is my video series. We're doing one video per day for 30 days about my Forex trading life and how it fits in with regular everyday life. I have a full-time job, 40 hours plus, wife and kids, other pursuits, uh, commitments, hobbies, dreams, goals, etc. I'm busy, busy, busy life, just like you. How do we fit in Forex trading into the middle of all that? How do we make it work and become profitable? And where, why? why? Why did I get into Forex trading? What is Forex? What is the Forex? Um, what's my long-term goal financially? What kind of money am I hoping to make? Uh, how am I multiplying my money? What is compounding profits? How do you grow money? How do you make money work for you instead of going out and working for money? Um, what, how did I learn how to Forex trade? How can you learn how to Forex trade? What, what uh, tools do I use? What software programs do I use? What strategies do I use? How am I becoming successful at this? Who's mentoring me and walking me by the, you know, holding my hand and walking me from knowing diddly squat nothing about Forex eight, nine months ago to where I am now and to where I will be in the future? And how can you do the same? So why, right? Why, we, why do we do all this? Um, if you're like me, uh, you're tired of the, the standard job situation, right? You're an independent spirit. You've always had a side hustle. You're looking to create an, another stream of income. Uh, hopefully that will overtake your job and set you free from your job so that somebody else can quit dictating your life to you, your hours, your income, and all sorts of things. You can walk into a place of financial freedom where you can live your life the way you've been wanting to live it. So Forex is one way to get there. Now, one of the big uh, objections to Forex trading is, but isn't Forex trading just too dang risky? Oh no! Ah, so scary, Forex trading. <laughs> um, first of all, let me say, living on planet Earth is risky. <laughs> uh, you can't avoid risk. Okay, what you can do though is manage your risk and take calculated risk decisions. So driving a car is risky. You can go out there and get in an accident, right? Flying on a plane is risky. Walking down the sidewalk, if you want, like, oh no, driving the car too, is too dangerous. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to walk. You can walk down the sidewalk and get hit by a car, get mugged. <laughs> you say, I don't even go outside. I stay in my house. It's too dangerous out there. That's a big, scary world. I'm going to sit on my couch. You know what? I lived in Pennsylvania and a plane crashed into a house and killed a whole family. People die in fires. People break in and steal and kill people. <laughs> I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just saying it's impossible to live a risk-free life. And if you could, it would be boring. <laughs> All right. So, but with that said, that you can't live a risk-free life, I do want to say that forex trading is not as risky as you might think it is. There are inherent risks. I've done a whole video on trading disclaimers and the risks associated with forex. And, and how you should only use money that is not going to affect your lifestyle if you were to lose it, okay? Called risk capital. And that you can win trades. You can lose trades. Hello? I mean, uh, yeah. You, you, I'm not going to guarantee you that you're going to uh, have a 100% win rate, okay? Or that you're going to get rich overnight. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. What I'm talking about here is learning a set of skills, actual concrete skills. There is a skill to analyzing charts, to using tools, and having success in Forex trading. And uh, so the goal is to get you there, right? To learn a set of skills that you can master, and if you'll master them, you can multiply money and get financially free and stay there for the rest of your life if you'll get this skill set, okay? So how do we do that? What's one of the ways that we minimize risk? By using proper risk management. <laughs> what is proper risk management? I mean, who are the people that, that you see maybe or that have told you forex is too risky it's too scary there are people who either a didn't learn proper risk management or b didn't apply what they learned they're everywhere i mean it doesn't matter how what good principles i give you what rules i give you what what concepts i give you to manage your risk and to be successful uh if you don't listen to them it's not going to help you okay so what are the factors involved in proper risk management when you're determining how to risk properly and minimize your risk, maximize your potential for profits in forex trading. What are the what are the factors? First, 
your account size, your account balance. How much money do you have in your trading account at your broker? If you have $100, you're gonna risk a certain way. If you have $1,000, you're gonna risk a little differently. If you have $10,000, you're gonna risk a little differently, okay, you understand? You're not all gonna be risking the same amounts regardless of your account size. So account balance is first. Second, uh, the currency pair. What do I mean by that? Certain currencies are inherently more risky than others. Trading on standard currencies is the safest way, right? The majors, your, the euro, the Great British Pound, the US dollar, the Canadian dollar, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen, okay, the same, you know, whatever, major pairs, Swiss francs. <laughs> okay, but there are other currencies, more exotic currencies that are more risky and volatile. First, cryptos, I did a video on cryptos. Cryptos are by nature more volatile, at least in this er these early stages of development. They are more volatile by nature. South African Rand, Mexican Peso, Turkish Lira, et cetera. Some other exotic currencies are just more volatile. They move more, they're more risky. They move a lot of pips. You can make a lot of money, but you can lose money too. Okay, so account balance, currency pair. Next, lot size on your trade. You determine how to do your lot size mathematically, correctly, you can minimize your risk. I'll talk about that in a second. The One of the pieces of information you need in order to do that is your stop loss. How many pips are between your entry point and your stop loss? For those of you that don't remember, I did a video, you know, several videos where I talked about this. Let's say you're entering a trade here on a chart and you're wanting the currency pair to go down because you're entering a sell trade. Just in case it goes up, you set a line here, what's called a stop loss. It's a safety net. It protects you from, it minimizes your loss. It limits your loss. It's called a stop loss, okay? If the trade goes the wrong way, it hits your stop loss, you check out of the trade, and you determined beforehand how much you would be risking and how much you would stand to gain if it were to go the way you wanted it to go. So you use risk to reward ratios with a small risk and a bigger reward. You do that consistently on every trade, you're in business, all right? So, but you have to know how many pips are between your entry point and your stop loss to help determine your correct lot size and risk management. Okay. Uh, another principle, risking no more than 1% to 3% of your account balance on any one trade. What does that mean? If you have a $100 balance, you don't risk more than $3 potential maximum loss on a trade. $3. Okay. If you do that consistently, you could actually lose 40 trades or something like that in a row before you ran out of money. It's not just 33, right? Because your balance gets smaller and smaller. Okay, I understand that. So if you have $1,000, you, you risk 3%. You, you lose 40 trades in a row, whatever. Risking 1% to 3% on any one trade. And if you're losing that many trades in a row, you're doing something wrong. You're not using the tools. You're not using the strategies. You're not applying something. We can help you with that, okay? So, um, so how do we calculate our lot size and use proper risk management? I'm glad you asked because you don't have to be a mathematician, a mathematical genius, or guru of some kind. All you need to do is know how to Google Forex calculator. <laughs> Position size calculator, right? This one that I like to use is right here on uh, my FX book, okay? You can also have it on your phone. There's an app. There's more than one app. Forex calculators are everywhere. It's so easy and so accessible. All you need to do is fill in the blanks, okay? Position size calculator. Your account is in US dollars. You leave that US dollars. Your account size. Let's say you have a thousand dollars in your account. You put a thousand dollars in that. Okay, it's pretty simple. Remember, we said you want to risk one to three percent. Let's say you're a risk maniac and you go for the max three percent risk. You put three in there. Stop loss. How many pips are you risking? Let's say let's say you're you know you're watching price on this one here. You're considering getting in a trade because your RSI is maxed out. You analyze you know hey we're gonna break this point here. I'm gonna enter a sell trade. So let's say you're right around here, and that's gonna be your entry line. And so you have to place a stop loss above that to limit your risk. Remember? So you place it here. Let's say you do the math on the pips over here, and it's between here and here. You're risking 30 whole pips. Okay, that's, that's not bad risk at all. So let's say your risk is 30 pips on your stop loss. It's 30 pips away from your entry point. You put 30 in there. What currency pair are you on? Remember I talked some, some currency pairs are more risky than others. So on, let's say you're on a standard, nice fiat currency pair like Euro USD. Hit calculate. This thing tells you what lot size to put into your trade. 
you know you know what stop loss you want you know where your entry point you want you know where your take profit is you've used a good risk to reward ratio on a thousand dollar balance with three percent risk you'd be risking thirty dollars that's three percent of a thousand dollars what lot size do you use 0 0.1 period end of story you don't vary it depending on how confident or not confident you are in the trade. If you're not confident on the trade, don't take the trade. If you're confident on the trade, use proper risk lot sizes. Don't pump it up because you're feeling lucky today. <laughs> okay, You're not at the casino. Manage your risk properly and consistently and you can be profitable. Okay, So not 0 0.01, that would be too small of a risk and too little gain. Not 1.0, that would be 10, 10 times too great of a risk. Not 0.5, not 0.6, just 0.1. Just follow what the calculator says. 0.1, you're risking 3%. End of story. That's all you do. You put 0.1 in as your lot size into your trade. And uh, that would be following proper risk management. Was that hard? Was that difficult? Do you think if you were Forex trading, you could take these couple of principles and consistently apply them? So here's the, here's the, the keys to proper risk management. Number one. Consistency. Consistency on what? Consistency in your tools and your strategies, your trading plan. Finding what you know works. Trading it on demo until you are consistently profitable with play money with zero risk until you're consistently profitable. Then switch over to live account and consistently follow your rules. Stick to what's what's working for you. Okay. Consistency in your lot size and you're risking one to three percent. And then using good risk to reward ratios. A little bit of risk, lots of potential reward. You could do that and lose over half your trades and still be a profitable trader. Discipline. So discipline and consistency, that's what it boils down to. Will you listen to what I'm saying right now? Will you consistently and in a disciplined way with using your self-control, risk only one to three percent on every trade, use a proper lot size, do use the, use the FX calculator, the position size calculator to do that, and just stick to the rules. Have a slow growth plan. Don't come into this expecting to double your money overnight. Is that possible? Sure it is. Is it possible that you can get 500% gain this week? Sure it is. But should that be your plan? No. What should be your plan? Watch the video that I did on compounding profits with a spreadsheet. If you just gain 2% or 3% per day, you can, you can grow and multiply your money in a matter of just a couple of years. I won't say to how much, you can do the math. I'll share with you the spreadsheet. I'll do a one-on-one -on -one call and show you the spreadsheet and say, look, how much money do you have in your trading account? You want to grow it by 2% per day or 3% per day? Here's what it looks like. Here's where it'll get you in X amount of years. It's just math. It's not me promising you anything. I can't promise you that you'll get those 2 or 3% per day. But with tools like we have, with a harmonic scanner that calls 89% successful trades, our swipe trades team that sends you trades to your phone that you just copy and paste and enter, their 70% success rate on their trades. Um, you know, web analyzer, strategies that even increase those percentages of success, using proper risk management. These are basic, basic rules that if you will consistently and diligently and faithfully apply them in accordance with your particular personal trading plan, you can be successful. I can't promise you the world. I can't promise you you'll be rich overnight. I can't promise you you, you won't lose. Forex is by nature has risk associated with it, okay? Use only risk capital. Only use money you can afford to lose. Only use money that's not gonna affect your lifestyle and your bills if, if you lose it, okay? That said, go watch the Forex Disclaimers video if you want more disclaimers, okay? But uh, if you will follow what we're teaching you and you will master the skills, the tools, the strategies, the things that we teach and use good risk management, you can win. Notice I didn't say you will win. Because I don't want to, I don't want you to put your faith in my words. I want you to put your faith in yourself that you can learn a skill that can be mastered. And if you'll master that these skill set and apply these things faithfully and diligently, you can multiply your money, compound your wealth over a couple few years, however long it takes you. Everybody's different. We all learn at different speeds and all different rates and apply things with differing rates of consistency. Okay, if you'll do what you're told and listen to what we teach you in our team. You can be successful in Forex trading, and Forex trading cannot be too dang risky. You can use proper risk management and multiply your wealth. Beat the banks, and instead of settling for a mediocre life where your life is dictated to you on a normal job and where you're happy with 1% per 
per year, you know, interest from a bank, you can multiply your money far more dramatically than that and uh, reach a place of financial freedom. That's my goal. I hope that's your goal. If it is, we'll help you. We'll do everything we can to help you master this skill set and get there. Okay, we'll grab you by the hand. We'll lead you in just like we're being led ourselves in a proven system that works. <laughs> Ow! That's a good way to end this video. All right, so that was video 22 of 30. There's eight more to come. I'm going somewhere, as you can imagine. We are landing this plane on the runway soon. Stay tuned for the remaining eight videos. Thanks for joining me. If you liked it, hit like. If you love it, hit love. If you're all about the risk management, give me some love, all right? Share this on your walls, whatever the case may be. All right, I hope you got something out of this. I get something out of it every time I, I teach it and share it with you. So God bless you for the opportunity and for listening if you've listened thus far. Have a great week. Have an amazing weekend. I will be there for more videos. Tune in. I hope to see you. God bless you. Peace.